Hello Internet, my name is Fahim and today I'm going to show you a very interesting stuff. So first of all, let me run the following code and see what happens. So this is the thing that we're going to make. What you see is a progress indicator. It indicates uh, some sort of work and which is being done and the current progress. Okay. So we're going to build this thing and I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. So for that, uh, what you need to do is step one, uh, sorry, uh, new project, create a, create a new project. Uh, I'm using intelligent idea, but you you can use NetBeans or Eclipse or whatever you have. So next, give the name, say progress indicator demo uh, new window okay so this is the thing that Intel's idea gives you by default okay for main class a controller and a sample effects in a file so after that what you need to do is go into the into this github link you know github uh, at Torakiki FX progress circle I'll give the link in the description. Uh, so there, there are some codes that we're going to use in our project. So what you need to do is clone or do download, uh, select the download zip, and after that you should have something like this. You know, after extracting the zip file, so inside here, uh, go into the you know, source main Java or org or uh, PDF Sam. Uh, UI okay so there are the Java codes Java files what you need is uh, these three classes Java files so select all of them control C and sorry uh, create a new package give it a name say UI and paste it uh, Okay, now be careful. You see, intelligent idea uh, it automatically corrects the package name, but uh, NetBeans may not support it. So you have to be careful over here. Okay, and also what we need is some CSS files. Okay, so I have no idea what the CSS files are, so I'm going to use a shortcut. Just write down CSS and file up. See that? See these three files? We're going to need them. So copy them and create a new package again. I'll give the name, say styles, and paste it. Okay. So <coughs> uh, after that, what you need to do is, you know, see that these CSS files are being used here but the problem is that the absolute path it is not correct so we have to correct the absolute path sorry relative path the relative path is incorrect so we have to provide the relative path over here so for the circular uh, copy relative path okay and in this case for intelligent idea, we need to do this kind of thing. Uh, in our case, uh, because we're inside UI, so the dot dot means we're going to jump backward and then go to styles. Otherwise, the code will start looking for these styles inside this UI package. So that is going to make a cause error, and also here wing progress. So copy relative path control v dot dot slash okay now I think we are ready to go save your code and go to the sample effects ML. I'll just close this window here um, so open it in the scene builder it should come okay so Uh, 
uh, take a anchor pin uh, and give the controller okay after that I'm going to select the layouts uh, you know, maybe both of them 400 to 400 and then I'm going to take a stack pane a uh, stack pane and give it a dimension of 300 is to uh, 300 and okay keep it in the center save it and finally give you know I want to give this thing an FX ID say stack paint okay and save your work after that uh, come back here um, go to the controller class uh, implements initializable uh, and you have to implement the methods so this method what it does is that it initializes some works that you want to do when your app starts working okay so once it is done uh, private stack pane stack pane uh, remember that over here we have taken this stack pane so we need to make a connection from here to that scene builder okay and also um, we are going to need some other stops um, okay we will come back to that later so after that what you need to do is uh, a ring progress indicator ring progress indicator new uh, oh it's raining outside it's a very lovely day in Bangladesh Taka in Taka Bangladesh uh, after that what you need to do is uh, something like this set uh, width uh, ring width yeah so I'm going to select 200 because the stack pane is some 200. Uh, in case you forget what method you want to use, simply go to the you know progress circle indicators. Here you can find these methods. Then we have uh, ring progress indicators. Uh, here we have this set ring width. So this is what we have used here. Then there are some other methods here. Um, then suppose over here uh, we have these methods we can use these things okay uh, so if you forget what to do just simply check out these methods go back to the controller class um, after that um, uh, ring progress indicator dot uh, make undetermined uh, You'll see what happens next, and finally we need to put this uh, ring indicator, ring progress indicator, on the stack, stack pane. So stack pane dot get children dot add a ring progress indicator, and okay. Yes, I think we're done here. Um, so let's see oh and one more thing give the name say and also you need to remove this thing save your work run shit oh just a moment stack pain
this one is this looks like a stack thing. Things work now. What? Now it will work. You see the uh, stack pin FX ID was not properly connected back then. So I hope now it will work. And Fiola. So this is what will what is the result of of our current code. But now we want to show some numbers, say 100, 0 to 100 percent progress. In order to do that, we need is a new Java class. Uh, Give the name, say oh, progress thread, <coughs> and it should extend thread. Sorry, okay. After that, uh, what you need to do is uh, Uh, ring progress indicator RPI and also what you need is a INT progress after that you need is a constructor so progress thread oh. public progress thread and you need to send a parameter here or ring progress indicator or PI. Um, after that, uh, this dot RPI equals to RPI and see that progress anti progress equals to zero. Okay, so we are initializing our, uh, our variables. After that, uh, what we need to do is we need the public void run method. For that, at override okay, so y true. What we need to do is um, rpi dot uh, set uh, yeah set progress and it should be progress after that progress plus plus it increments the uh, you know progress variable uh, int progress and after that we need to do a, a che if checking if progress uh, is greater than 100 uh, simply break okay uh, but this will run in the full speed so I want to give it a delay of say 100 milliseconds uh, for that what we need to do is uh, our thread dot sleep say 100 millisecond and you'll get an hero you know red red underline because you need to give it a try catch block so sound with try catch after that uh, what you need to do is you see you need to connect this RPI with uh, 
this RPI or link progress indicator otherwise they won't uh, you know work uh, concurrently they won't please they won't work properly for that what you need is platform dot uh, run later this method and inside this you need is a lambda expression and inside this you need to uh, you know, cut and paste this thing okay so after that I think we are good to go um, yes so after that we get back into the controller class in the initialize uh, we take a progress thread type object so progress thread type object pt equals to new progress thread uh, ring progress indicator after that uh, pt dot start yes that's that's it I think um, looks good to me so now I'm going to run the main function again and see that now we're getting this beautiful uh, you know progress indicator which shows from 0 to 100 percent of work being done and if you want to change the colors or other stops you have to change them over here so see that we have this color in the circle progress then we have here some other codes then we have these codes so let's change this uh, a bit different say uh, I want to apply yellow so for that uh, red green and blue should be zero in that case um, now let's uh, run the main function and this time the color should be yellow and see that it's yellow although not so promptly visible anyway so that's how you can create this progress indicator and you can use it to show uh, graphically how much work is being done or what is the current progress of your java application or whatever you're doing so that's it from me today i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching